there, families. I'm Gary, and I'm so glad you're here for church. Let's get to know each other a little bit. How many of you have a cool talent? Better yet, five seconds, get up, and you have to show me. Ready, go. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. All right, so I saw yours. You get to see one of my skills. It's dancing. Pretty good, huh? Well, thanks for letting me share one of my skills with you. That's what this week's point is all about. Use what you're good at to give God glory. Now, let's jump into Connect. Here's Harper. Do you know what time it is? It's time for us to connect to God by singing and dancing to music. Sometimes I don't always feel like worshiping, but then I remember it's not about me or how I feel. It's about God. God deserves our worship and thanks all the time. So let's give it all we've got. Get up on your feet and let's connect to God together. The fight is on. I'll hold my ground. I'm gonna crash the lies of the back down cause I'm not alone with you my God I'll conquer anything in you I have the victory victory you're the undefeated 
tomorrow I'm celebrating the anniversary of when I first started to give kids swim lessons. It's kind of like a swim lesson birthday. Teaching kids how to swim is one of the best parts of my week. I love it and I'm good at it. And I might not have known that it's something I wanted to do if I hadn't come to Connect HQ. You know what? How about I just show you guys what happened? What are you doing with those juice boxes? Oh, well, I'm putting them in order of expiration date, so that way, nothing goes to waste. That's a good idea. Yeah, I've been rearranging the whole lounge because I love to organize and stuff like that. Well, I came in here for M&Ms. Where did you put those? Oh, I put them over here. What kind do you want? Well, I like peanut, but I think I'll go with plain. Well, I have blue, yellow, orange, or green. Tony, I think that's a little too organized. <laughs> it's beautiful. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Tony, and this is the time we thought about the things we're good at. Hey, Harper, are you looking for something? Have you seen Vincent's chisel anywhere? Um, have you checked the Whatnots group room? That room is so disorganized, you can barely find anything. I thought I'd check here also. Is this for your art project? Yes, I'm so excited. This project is going to be huge. Vincent and I came up with the idea and we're creating it together. That sounds great. Great isn't the word for it, Tony. It's gonna be with colors and shapes and it'll just be, you know? Yeah, that's great. I mean, you know. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Harper. Hi, Jaden. Welcome back to Connect HQ. Thanks. I need your help. Well, that's what we're here for. Yeah, tell us what's going on. Well, I love to swim. I always have. Whenever I get the chance, I'm in the water. My mom even calls me her little fish. But yesterday, I tried out for the swim team at school, and I had the technique down. I just didn't have the speed, and I didn't make the team. I'm so sad. I'm really sorry to hear that, Jaden. I thought swimming was what I was meant to do, but maybe I was wrong. Should I find something else to do, or should I work harder and try out for the swim team next year? What should I do? Well, let's figure it out together. Where are you, my sweet? Come to visit! Hey, Vincent, do you need any help? We, oui. Tony, we are looking for the chisel. It is around here somewhere. Oh, okay, well, I'll help so you and Harper can get back to your art project. Tony, you have heard about the masterpiece. Oh, uh, yeah, Harper is very excited about it. As am I, we will create something that is truly breathtaking. <laughs> oh, hey, here's your chisel. Tony saves the day, merci beaucoup. <laughs> well, I'm just so happy that you and Harper are so excited and you're working with such purpose. Perhaps you would like to join us? Well, actually, I would like to take a crack at this room. Take a crack? Well, yeah, I think that if this room was better organized, it would create a better environment for you to create your art in. And you would do this for Vincent? Oh, yeah, I love tidying up things and cleaning and organizing. It excites me, like your art excites you. Well, perhaps you should do this and take a crack at it. So, yeah, let's get cracking. <laughs> what is that? It's the art project Vincent and I have been working on. A, a, a curtain? No, it's behind the curtain. We just don't want anyone to see it yet. But I can't wait to show you. I'm really excited. I used to be excited about swimming like that. I thought I was gonna be a star, but I didn't even make the team. I think God is less interested in you becoming a star and more interested in finding your purpose and using it to honor him. My, my purpose? That's right. 
There's a good reason God made each of us. He's a special job that only you can do and a special job that only I can do. Well then, how do I find out what my purpose is? Well, start with what you're good at and then use what you're good at to give God glory. Use what you're good at to give God glory. But I thought that was swimming, so now what do I do? We'll figure that out together. <sighs> That is where you will put the paintbrushes? Oh yeah, well they were all over the place, so I thought I'd just put them all in one spot for you. Good thinking. Mm -hmm. And this is the place you have chosen? Uh, well yeah, you, you, you don't like it? No, no, it is fine to me. Okay, great. But the paintbrushes, they seem sad. The, the paintbrushes seem sad. Oui, they want to smile, they want to sing. They cannot sing in an old house jar. They can't? You do not want the paintbrushes to sing, Tony? No, 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 I, I want them to sing, I want them to sing. I'll, you know what, I'll put them in something else if it'll make you happy. No, no, it is not about me, you're in charge. What is in this box? Oh, that's just a box of old dirty rags for the trash. <gasps> this is not junk. These are des chefs français. These are very important to my work. Des chefs what, what does that mean? How you say in English? The dirty rags. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't wait to see what your art project looks like. Can't I just take a little peek? Not until it's completed, but we're almost done. Well, can you describe it? Well, it's sort of... How does one describe it? How does one describe the wind beneath the wings of an eagle as it soars through the air? How does one describe the sound of a river as it throws through the sea? How does one describe the feeling on the back of your neck during a thunderstorm? Tingling? Yeah, I suppose so. What brings you to connect this huge air? She didn't make the swim team. You swim? You just jump into the water and speed away? Incroyable! You could learn to swim. No, no. Vincent stays on land. Vincent is not a fish. <laughs> well, if you ever change your mind, I can teach you. Trust me, if I can teach my little brother how to swim, I can teach anyone. Well, your talent impresses me, and I hope you continue to use it. Well, with not making the swim team, it doesn't seem like all that big a talent to me. It's not about how big the talent is, but how you use it. What do you mean? Let us show you on this machine. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Is alive. Matthew. Once upon a time, there was a man about to go on a journey. This is a story Jesus told called a parable. This man had three servants. Before he left for his trip, he called them to watch over his money. To one, he gave five bags of gold. Ah. To another, he gave two bags. Yahoo! And to another, he gave one bag. Woohoo! After he did this, the master left on his journey. The man who'd received five bags of gold immediately put his money to work, gaining five more. The one with two bags did the same and gained two more. But the man who'd received the one bag of gold left, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master returned to collect his money. The man who had received five bags of gold returned his gold first. Master, you've entrusted me with five bags of gold. I've gained five more. Well done, good and faithful servant. 
You have been faithful with a few things. Now I will put you in charge of many things. The man who was given two bags came next. Master, you've entrusted me with two bags of gold, and I've gained two more. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. Now I will put you in charge of many things. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, I was afraid I'd disappoint you, so I buried your gold. Here it is back. You wicked and lazy servant. You should have put my money in the bank so I'd at least get interest back. Huh? I'm sorry, my servant, but you are fired. We have no use for you here. As I've said before, whoever is faithful with a little will be trusted with a lot. You were not faithful with a little, so I cannot trust you anymore. This was the parable of the bags of gold. We must all be faithful with what God has given us, because it all belongs to Him. If you do that, you will surely be blessed. And being blessed by God is the greatest it can get. The end. So. God gives us our talents and abilities, and He doesn't want us to hide them away. That's right, and we should not use them to puff ourselves up either. Our purpose should be to use our talents to serve God and others. It's not about being a star. Exactly. Oh, Aper, I came in here to give you the chisel, but I have forgotten it. Don't worry, I'll grab it for you. That way, you guys can focus on your big reveal. I can't wait to see what it is. <laughs> you really enjoy this, don't you? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Um, enjoy what? Enjoy something? What? This. Organizing the room for Vincent. I can tell it excites you. Oh, I mean, I, I love organizing and, and tidying up things. I, I don't like to toot my own horn, but it's kind of a special talent of mine. <laughs> and I love using my talent to help others. That, that's great. I'm not too sure if I have a talent that could help others. Oh, you do. How do you know? Well, it says so in the Word of God. In the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 10. Here, say it with me like this. 1 Peter 4, 10. 1 Peter 4, 10. Each of you has received a gift. Each of you has received a gift in order to serve others. In order to serve others. You see, God wants us to use our special talents in order to help other people. And see, that brings glory to Him, and that's purpose. Wow, I guess I just never really saw organizing a room as a gift. Oh, I mean, yeah, there's all sorts of gifts or special skills. You know, there might be sports or, or, um, or singing or acting or even uh, listening or encouraging. <laughs> or even organizing. <laughs> or even organizing. You see, each team has players, but you also need uh, coaches, you need fans, you need cheerleaders. What's important is that we use our special skills, no matter what they are, in order to help other people. Jadon, we will need another sponge. Tony, look at this room. It looks so clean, so crisp, so symmetrical. Thanks. I guess it does look clean, crisp, and symmetrical. We. Oui. Hopefully you have time to fix it. Oh, uh, I'll see what I can do. It's okay. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the unveiling of our latest project. This piece is called Purpose. Prepare yourselves for the grandeur, the spectacle, the marvel of our work. Oh, wow, that's uh, it's really compact. <laughs> well, it was bigger, but we chiseled it down. Perhaps it could always be smaller. It's beautiful. It looks like an egg, and you see the cracks along the side? It's like a little chick is about to burst forth. I'm really glad you like it, Jaden. Oh, I more than like it. It's helping me see my purpose. I wanted to be on the swim team because it would have made me look good, but God wants me to use my talents to serve others. So I'm going to start giving swim lessons to kids that want to learn how to swim. You got all that from an egg. Last year, I taught my little brother how to swim, and watching him learn something new is like watching a baby chick come out its shell. So, I can do that for others, too. Well, I think you'll be great at that. That's a great idea, Jaden. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I better get started. Thanks for your help, everyone. Come back anytime, Jaden.
Now we must unveil Tony's masterpiece, the newly organized Whatnots Room. Let us go! <laughs> Ta-da! It looks exactly the same as yesterday. It is perfect, alive and vibrant. A triumph, magnifique. I thought you'd like it this way. Tony, you have done an amazing job. But it looks exactly ha! Shh, do you hear that? The paintbrushes, they are singing. Hi, it's Tony. You have a purpose given to you by God. We know this because it says so in the book of First Peter. Here, say it with me like this. First Peter 4.10. Each of you has received a gift in order to serve others. That gift is talent, abilities, and special skills that God has given to us. He has given us these gifts in order to serve others. God is like the master in the parable that Jesus told. He gave each of the servants money to invest and grow. We can invest the talents God has given us too. We should use our talents to serve others and make God's love and power known instead of hiding them or using them selfishly. Harper and Vincent know their purpose. They love to create and they use that talent. Sometimes you might be unsure of your purpose, but by looking at your skills and talents and what you love doing, you can find that you have a purpose. Your purpose may not be what you expect. It might be arts, sports, or singing, but it also could be listening or helping others or teaching. Whatever it is, remember to use what you're good at to give God glory. Our gifts come from God, so let's give them back to Him with a purpose. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. orange ones actually do taste better. Today we talked about purpose. The best way to know your purpose is by getting to know the God that gave you your talents and abilities. We do that by following Jesus. If you want to follow Jesus, all you have to remember are your ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make the decision to follow Jesus, talk to your Connect small group leader before you leave. Following Jesus is so amazing. It starts off your forever friendship with God. If you want to follow him or know more about the ABCs, talk with a parent or a leader you trust because they'll want to celebrate that decision with you. When you follow Jesus, you can use your super special skills and talents to bring him glory. You know what? Let's try out some skills to find new ways to bring glory to God. We're going to play bingo. Here's how it works. The bingo machine will choose a spot and we'll try that skill together. Once we've tried the skill, the machine will cover it up just like this free space. Awesome, okay. What do you think the first spot is going to be? I bet it'll be a really cool challenge. Whistling! All right, let's try it. Nice, you have two spaces covered now. Let's see what the next one is. Say in the Bible verse. I can help you with this one. Let's give it a shot. 1 Peter 4.10. Each of you has received a gift in order to serve others. Let's keep going. Oh, singing. I'm really good at this one. Well, too bad it isn't close to the square we already have, but we can try it out anyway. Sing your favorite song. Oh, Jesus, you're the undefeated. Oh, Jesus, 
You're the undefeated. You sound so good. And look, the singing square's covered up. Okay, it looks like we still need two more to get a bingo. I hope we get one of those next. Let's see. Yes, praying for others. We needed that one. Think of someone that you can pray for and we'll pray together. Dear Jesus, help our friends to know you and also help them to use their gifts to give you glory. Amen. We only need one more. Okay, let's see what we get. The one we needed, making people laugh. Okay, I'm gonna tell you my best joke. You laugh, we'll get a bingo. Why are fish so easy to weigh? Because they have their own scales. <laughs> <laughs> God, because they have scales. Oh, well, at least some of you laughed. And it looks like we had enough to get that bingo. Come on. Woo. Whew. Well, we tried a lot of skills today. Which ones were you really good at? Those are the skills you can use to give God glory. And you're probably really good at a lot more stuff, too. One way Jesus helps us to find all of our skills is through reading the Bible. Check out the Bible plan called God's Plan for Me in the YouVersion Bible app, or check out the link in the description of this video. Now it's your turn to ask your family some questions. Take some time to talk about your skills and how you can use them to bring glory to God. Stay tuned for the cues, and I'll see you guys later.